My favorite celebrity chef, Jamie Gwynn, is back, and she has some exciting grilling tips to spruce up those usual 4th of July dishes. Good morning, my dear. Good morning, my friend, and I'm very excited to celebrate July 4th with you. We're doing a little bit of grilling, but we're doing a little more partying. Oh, let's party on, girl. Let's party on. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's do it. So I love a grilling holiday. I love a holiday. You know that. <laughs> but I want to enjoy the party. So these are my best tips to eat well, full of deliciousness, of course, with a couple new secrets up my sleeve. Uh, but this is how you get to enjoy the party. So I'm kicking off my July 4th celebration with a bruschetta bar because I love a DIY or a build your own, right? Tomato bruschetta, chopped tomatoes, olive oil, garlic, basil, salt, pepper, right? And then some just toasted bread and then your favorite toppings like pesto, sun-dried tomatoes, marinated mushrooms, and everybody builds their own. It is entirely sun safe, Angie, which I think is really wonderful seeing that we're seeing uh, a, a heat trend across the right, country right. right now. But the simplest setup, uh, the setup is simple, rather, and the possibilities are endless. I love so that this idea. this is a great way yes. to start the party. Isn't that fun? Yes, I love that idea. Yeah, super cool. Okay, now on my menu, a little bit of grilling, a little bit of chilling. <laughs> Salads are always refreshing during the summer. I love that you can make this one ahead of time and then just dress it at the end. So I like my salads to have a little oomph, like I want them to fill you up. And so I use North Carolina sweet potatoes all throughout the year, but especially during the summer. I leave the skins on because they have so many nutrients in the skin. Right. I slice them into circles and I grill them and they caramelize and they get tender and they're delicious. Ooh, I love North great. Carolina sweet potatoes. Oh, that looks great. And I, I know. Fun, right? And then yes. you put them on top of, let's say, baby spinach or arugula. I'm doing red, white, and blue, strawberries, feta cheese, blueberries, some toasted pistachios for crunch. And those North Carolina sweet potatoes, by the way, are the most nutrient dense vitamins A, C, fiber, antioxidants. They're sweetened from the earth, of course, so they're low in calories. And I use them year round, like they're a pantry staple for sure. me. They stay delicious a really long time. Um, and this recipe and more at ncsweetpotatoes.com. Okay. Now, maybe we should plan a picnic, you and I. Okay, let's do that. I'm ready. Anything you make, Jamie, okay. I'm there. I'm there. You flatter me. Thank you. <laughs> this is actually a great starter course for your barbecue where it's a make ahead or you want to plan the perfect picnic. This is entirely vegetarian and so easy to pull together. So I'm making Greek salad pinwheels because mm. the pinwheel is back, by the way. Spinach tortilla spread with hummus. That's the glue. Feta cheese, diced tomato, and most importantly, pearls, specialties, Kalamata olives. It's the best Kalamata olive I've ever tasted. And it makes you feel like you're on a Mediterranean summer vacation. You roll it up and refrigerate what looks like the burrito for 30 minutes because it all melds together. And then when you slice it, you get this beautiful pinwheel. Now, speaking of the Mediterranean, it feels like a vacation to me. <laughs> Pearls is giving away a Greece getaway. Between now and the end of July, you can actually enter to win a nine day vacation to Greece, round trip airfare, hotel, two, you just go to olives.com to enter. And I am not eligible, so you should win. I'll sign up. And then I have the newest food find. Okay, you gotta sign up. This is my newest food find, Angie, and oh my gosh. You know I have uh, the joy of my life. I have a three-year-old son. Yes. And even though he is the boy of a chef, he's not the best veggie eater. <laughs> but he ate the whole bag of these confetti snacks. So if you want to brighten your July 4th gathering with color, this is the ultimate substitute for greasy fried chips. Confetti chips are made with vitamin-rich veggies. They are never fried. Seven different kinds of veggies in every bag, radish, carrots, mushrooms, you name it. They're seasoned with like barbecue or truffle or curry. Mm, and they right. are so delicious. The crunch is awesome. I like to put them out in a bowl. My son ate the whole bag, literally. But I also use them as a crouton for salads. And they are at your grocery store now, or you can go to confettisnacks.com. I'm telling you, they're outrageous. This is my new favorite food find. Jamie, thank you so much. I'm hungry already. Thanks for these great dishes. Happy 4th of July to you and your sweet little boy. Happy 4th to you. Thank you for always welcoming me on your show. Always glad to have you. We'll be back with more local lifestyles right after this. Stick around.